Li Shiqin, an elderly man over 80 years old, did not die from enemy bullets, lonely years, or old illnesses, but choked to death from a bite of pastry. I feel it's a bit unworthy for the old lady to open her eyes and discover that she has become another celebrity with the same name and surname, Li Shiqin, her granddaughter Zhao Ranran has become her assistant, and there is also a baby waiting to be fed. Not afraid, the old lady is self-reliant and can easily return to her old job of farming to support her family. What, the collapse of character and the controversy of contract termination in the entertainment industry have led to exorbitant debts, and the studio is in a financial crisis, unable to pay salaries anymore the old lady suddenly felt immense pressure. What should we do? In order to raise two offspring, the old lady must be strong and regain her fighting spirit from the past. To pursue a career. Isn't it just a play? Acting now costs money, acting back then cost life. Isn't it just a dance? Back then, the old lady was also a golden flower on the dance floor. Isn't it just music, chess, calligraphy, and painting? Who is not a lady from a wealthy family? Let's see how the old lady gradually shocked the entertainment industry. My grandmother, who had passed away for two years, fell from the sky and became her own boss. The celebrity Li Shiqin who committed suicide due to the collapse of the entertainment industry's image and depression. Zhao Ranran was trembling and worried every day that the old lady would not be able to withstand the pressure of the entertainment industry and would collapse however, the old lady not only survived, but also excuse me. Is this grandmother she knows who can write, draw, dance, play the piano, and speak Russian? Grandma, aren't you an ordinary rural woman? Keywords of the novel Reborn star, 80 old lady becomes popular with no pop-ups, reborn star, 80 old lady becomes popular with pranks. Download the complete text, reborn star, 80 old lady becomes popular with pranks. Latest chapter reading Chapter 1. Grandma Reborn. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1. Grandma Reborn Li Shiqin opened his eyes and saw the pale face of his granddaughter. Feeling guilty and blinking, she just stole a small brown sugar cake while her granddaughter was not around. Who knew she would get stuck, and the feeling of choking and gradually suffocating was really uncomfortable. You. You're not dead. Too much, too much. Although she is indeed wrong, it is impolite for her granddaughter to say so. You scared me to death. My granddaughter was sobbing and began to wipe away her tears. Hey hey, I'm sorry. Li Shiqin felt guilty and wanted to reach out to touch his granddaughter's head. Ha! Huh. Her hands have been less agile and powerful for a long time. Li Shiqin stared blankly at her slender and fair fingers. This is not her hand, not the hand of an eighty-year-old man like a withered tree. Li Shiqin looked up and realized that this was not the ward where she had been staying for a month, nor the room in Yunhu town where she had lived for most of her life. Cough. I cleared my throat as I tried, and although my throat was dry, there was no feeling of being unable to speak due to illness. Ran Ran. What's wrong with this? Li Shiqin tentatively made a sound, which was not her voice either. Qin Jie, what's the big deal? It's going to pass no matter what. Why did you take sleeping pills to commit suicide? Zhao Ranran blushed as she was still shocked to find Li Shiqin taking sleeping pills to commit suicide. Qin Jie. Taking sleeping pills to commit suicide. Li Shiqin felt dizzy and disoriented. Zhao Ranran raised her head and carefully looked at Li Shiqin, who was not quite right. Qin Jie, are you okay? Shouldn't it be due to excessive use of sleeping pills causing amnesia? Li Shiqin looked at his granddaughter in front of him with the same face, except that the memory of Ranran was a little younger. What do you call me? Qin Jie. Don't scare me. Zhao Ranran had a frightened expression on her face. Li Shiqin rubbed her face, stood up from the bed, and found the bathroom. The face in the mirror is pale and delicate, young and good-looking, and somewhat familiar. 
Luo Hongyi. Li Shiqin rubbed her face, how could she suddenly turn into Luo Hongyi? Suddenly, I remembered the stories of rebirth and travel that Zhao Ran Ran had read in front of her bed. Has she already died? Ran Ran, how many years is it now? In 2022. It has been two years since her death, and Li Shiqin suddenly felt a sense of absurdity. She took a deep breath. Ran Ran, I'll come with me. I have something to tell you now, you need to stay calm. Are you really my grandmother? Zhao Ran Ran looked blankly at Li Shiqin in front of her, repeating for the nth time. Her boss turned into her grandmother when he opened his eyes. Is this really not a dream? She pinched her own thigh. It hurts so much. Li Shiqin laughed at her silly appearance and couldn't help but reach out to rub the silly girl's head. The last novel you read me is called, Marshal of Time. The last breakfast you cooked for me was black rice and walnut kanji. The last piece of clothing you bought me is a silk pajama. The last thing you said to me was grandma, don't be greedy. I'll come over at noon. Zhao Ranran's eyes slowly moistened. Why, don't you believe it? When your parents were three years old, they put you in Yinhu town. Grandma can tell you all the things that happened over the years bit by bit, Zhao Xiaohua. Wu Wu, Grandma. Zhao Ranran's eyes soured and she pounced on Li Shiqin, only then did she feel a bit real. Grandma, it's really you. I miss you so much. Do you know that after you left, I was the only one left. I don't know how to live these two years. Li Shiqin was almost thrown down by her, but still affectionately patted her granddaughter's head. Don't be afraid, be good, grandma is back. In the embrace of Li Shiqin, Zhao Ran Ran gradually calmed down. Grandma, what's going on here? How did you become this Li Shiqin now? Grandma doesn't know how it turned into. Oh, this person is also called Li Shiqin, isn't it Luo Hongyi? Luo Hongyi is a character she plays. Her real name is Li Shiqin, said Zhao Ran Ran. She is a celebrity, and I am now her assistant. It seems like that's the case, Li Shiqin nodded. So what's wrong with her? I think she must have committed suicide. Zhao Ran Ran handed her a piece of paper on the ground, and when I came over, I found this suicide note and an empty sleeping pill bottle. Suicide, why? Li Shiqin took a cold breath and asked incredulously. Zhao Ran Ran was actually not very clear either. She only came to work as Li Shiqin's assistant a few months ago, and as an inexperienced woman, she wondered how she would take a liking to her. However, the subsequent series of developments were simply beyond her expectations. The legendary pure jade woman is far from as beautiful as the outside world sees. She suffers from insomnia and depression. Recently, it was revealed that she had an illegitimate child raised in her hometown in the countryside. The whistleblower clearly had a lot of evidence, from Li Shiqin getting pregnant for being close to a wealthy family, to the details of not being able to marry into a wealthy family after the child was born, causing a public uproar. Watching his reputation collapse, many contractors have terminated contracts with Li Shiqin. His agent Liao Kai is extremely busy, but Li Shiqin always stays at home drinking. Zhao Ran Ran felt like she was about to lose her job and was already preparing to look for a job. Today, Liao Gu asked her to come and take a look, and she found out that Li Shiqin had committed suicide by leaving a book, which scared her so much that she almost called the police. Unexpectedly, Li Shiqin came back to life. So, I have a child. Li Shiqin was shocked. Zhao Ran Ran. Probably, maybe, 80% of it is. Grandma, you don't have any memory of the original owner. Li Shiqin shook her head honestly, her mind was filled with memories of her past life, and now this Li Shiqin has nothing. Although having children out of wedlock is not good, it is still a private matter. Is it serious enough to require suicide? Zhao Ran Ran sighed and said, if it were just an ordinary person, a celebrity or public figure would lose their reputation if something like this happens, especially if it is exposed. 
Well, during this period of time, all the contracts signed for endorsement had to be terminated with Qin Jia, and the contracts signed for dramas and variety shows had to be terminated as well. If you're lucky, you can still come out to film after the popularity of this matter has subsided. If you're not lucky, you may not be able to recover. Is it necessary to commit suicide like this? Li Shiqin was once again shocked. Are children's psychological qualities so poor now? Zhao Ran Ran. Not really, it's mainly because Qin Jie herself has depression, and she may not be able to withstand it for a while. This won't work, Ran Ran. Grandma told you, there are no obstacles in the world that cannot be overcome, and you can't just want to give up easily. Grandma. Zhao Ran Ran had a headache, what should we do now? Grandparents and grandchildren stared at each other, lost in thought for a moment. One has been separated from society for too long, while the other has not delved deeply into the world. How about I invite Brother Liao over to discuss it? Who is Brother Liao? Liao Gu is you. Qin Jie's agent and also a partner of the studio. He arranges and is responsible for Qin Jie's affairs. Then invite him over for dinner. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 2. Did the girl open her mind? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 2. Did the girl open her mind? Ran Ran, what is this? This is a fruit and vegetable cleaning machine. Grandma, look at it. Put the vegetables inside, turn on this switch, wait for five minutes, and it will automatically clean. Dot. What about this one? This is a vegetable cutter, Grandma. Look, if you put the potatoes here, they will automatically cut into shreds and other shapes. Dot. What about this one? Automatic fryer, Grandma, all you need to do is choose a dish, follow the voice prompts, put the ingredients and seasonings into it one by one, and the dish will come out. Li Shiqin was stunned, thinking that he had only been dead for two years. How could it feel like the whole world had changed? Grandma, your elderly family hasn't had much exposure to high-dot-tech products before. These household appliances are now very common things. There are also intelligent machine service personnel. Li Shiqin was heartbroken and said, Ran Ran, Grandma is getting old. Grandma is not old, she looks really beautiful now. Are you saying that Grandma used to look ugly? So it looks good too. Does it look good now or before? Grandma, you're so bored. Can we talk about some business? As a matter of fact, have you ever had a boyfriend? Grandma. Liao Kai came to Li Shiqin's house with a heavy heart, and during this time he was extremely anxious. He knew it was over, not because of what Li Shiqin had done, but because they had encountered a powerful capitalist party that their class could not compete with. By hooking their fingers, the other party can put them in a desperate situation. For ten years, he has watched Li Shiqin grow up almost like a worried old father. The girl actually embarked on this path was an accident, and it was luck that helped her become popular. However, after ten years of glamour, it is rare for her to become more ordinary. He also understood that she wanted to marry into a wealthy family in the end. Liao Kai had warned her before, but naturally, children in their rebellious period could not listen to their old father's words, so it is normal for them to fall and fight now. The problem is that the fall was too big, and Li Shiqin couldn't get up. Brother Liao, you're here. Zhao Ran Ran, who personally selected an assistant for Li Shiqin, opened the door. Liao Kai rubbed his brow with exhaustion. Where's your sister Qin? She is cooking. Cooking. Liao Kai was taken aback and saw Li Shiqin, who was wearing an apron and carrying soup, walking out and greeting him with a smile. Here we go, sit down quickly. The meal is almost ready. Liao Kai, who was originally planning to see a decadent and unattainable Li Shiqin, said. Did he go to the wrong set? Although all the dishes on the table are home-cooked, they look full of color, aroma, and taste, making one's fingers skip a beat. What did you do? Yeah. 
Liao Kai. The daughter who has been raising her for ten years has never cooked food for her old father. It's been ten years and I didn't know you could cook. Li Shiqin smiles and puts a piece of braised pork belly in Liao Kai's bowl that, I haven't made it for too long and I don't know if the craftsmanship has deteriorated. Please try it quickly to see if it tastes good. This. A grand affection is hard to resist. How's it going? Delicious. Liao Kai didn't lie. The braised pork belly is fat but not greasy. It tastes delicious. Li Shiqin's eyes lit up and he said, that's it. This is my specialty. Eat more and try this again. Ran Ran, you can sit down too. Zhao Ran Ran dared not even look at Liao Ji's surprised expression. Grandma, your character has collapsed. Li Shiqin also took a bite of food and looked satisfied. It's been a long time since she fell ill that she hasn't tasted any flavor. Shi Qin, are you okay? Liao Kai couldn't help but care. It's okay, as the saying goes, there are no obstacles in the world that cannot be overcome. If you maintain a calm mindset, everything will pass. Li Shiqin's face was calm and taken for granted. Liao Kai. Is this a sudden realization for my daughter? How do you plan to handle the matter with the Zhang family? Zhang's family. Zhao Ranran perked up her ears. Is that the wealthy family? What do you think should be done? Li Shiqin asked in response. Do you really want to hear my opinion? Of course. I think you should give up. Since Mrs. Zhang has clearly stated that she won't accept you, and since Zhang Junhan is no longer with us, it's pointless for you to continue pestering. Shi Qin, now that the media has exposed it, why don't you get together and part ways with him? To the public, we can say that you have different personalities and break up peacefully, which can at least restore some of your image. Liao Kai couldn't help but say it. He also has no choice, if he continues to carry it on, their years of hard work will be ruined, and the company really can't support it anymore. Zhang Junhan. Zhao Ranran frowned and winked. This must be the name of that wealthy young master. Zhang family, is that the Zhang family? Okay. Hmm. Liao Kai was taken aback, did you agree? What you said is reasonable and considerate of me, how could I disagree? Li Shiqin looked at Liao Kai kindly and kindly. This young man is not bad. Are you really willing to leave Zhang Junhan? Liao Kai became excited. He reminded her of these words, both openly and secretly, many times. However, the rebellious girl refused to listen and went all the way to the dark. Unexpectedly, now she has enlightened. I am willing. Li Shiqin firmly insisted that she marry that Zhang Junhan. Will her elderly family still live? That's great. Liao Kai was ecstatic, then this matter will be easy to handle. As long as you agree to a peaceful breakup, I can persuade the Zhang family to suppress the situation, and they don't want to make things worse. Li Shiqin nodded obediently. I'll contact them now, Liao Kai couldn't sit still. First, sit down and have a meal. The old lady was unhappy. People are like iron, rice is like steel. If you don't eat a meal, you'll get hungry. No matter how busy you are with work, you still have to eat. After eating well, you can go back to work. Liao Kai There's nothing wrong with this, but why does Li Shiqin feel a strong sense of discord when he says it, like his grandmother forced him to eat when she was alive? End of this chapter Chapter 3.3 has Mr. Lee changed? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 3.3 .3, Has Mr. Lee changed? Mom, Li Shiqin's agent contacted us and said she is willing to break up peacefully with Hana. The old lady closed her eyes and opened them. She was so scheming to marry into the Zhang family and even gave birth to a son, would she really give up easily? She probably knows there's no hope left, after all her image has collapsed and her position in the entertainment industry is already in jeopardy. 
she knows it's useless to oppose us. Not necessarily, I think she's using a move of retreat for progress. First, stabilize us, and then wait for Hunter to come back before making a comeback. Ruan Sushin frowned. She probably didn't know about Han Air's situation. Otherwise, she wouldn't have come knocking on her door in a fit of anger that day, crying so desperately and heartbroken after being kicked out by her. Thinking of that day, Ruan Su's heart felt sore. That girl is only in her twenties, about the same age as her son, and she really can't bear it. This kind of woman is in the entertainment industry. How can she get along in this place without two brushes? Su Xian, you're just too soft-hearted. Mom, what should we do now? Tell her. There are two conditions. One, you can't reveal Hunter's name, and from then on, he and Hunter will be strangers. Two, sign an agreement. Her son will always be separated from the Zhang family. He will never enter the Zhang family's door in his lifetime. Mom, that's the grandson of the Zhang family. Ruan Su's heart was horrified. The old lady sneered. So what? Let's not have such a child of impure blood in the Zhang family. His mother's birth is a disgrace. Su Exian, it's not my granny's ruthlessness. She's too cautious to be confused. What era is this, and what is it about bloodline and background? Ruan Su's heart was numb to thought. But what can she do? After thirty years in the old lady's authority, she no longer knows how to resist. Break ties with the Zhang family. Li Shiqin was a bit stunned, not reluctant, it was just not in line with common sense. That's their grandson, why don't we just skip it? I didn't expect it either. Liao Kai smiled bitterly. This Mrs. Zhang is really cold-hearted and heartless. This is going to completely cut off Li Shiqin's future. Indeed, women are ruthless and there is nothing wrong with men. Then cut off the relationship. Did you agree? Liao Kai couldn't believe it. Of course, as the saying goes, cut through the chaos with a quick knife. This is also a good way. Liao Kai looked at Li Shiqin with satisfaction, with a feeling of tears in his eyes. He had been with Li Shiqin for ten years, and now he finally had the feeling that, my family has a daughter who has just grown up. Li Shiqin looked at Liao Kai equally affectionately. Liao Kai, you've been working hard lately. When you're done, come to me and I'll make you a big meal to make up for it. Liao Kai. Although I was touched, that strange feeling came again. Recently, people at Yunshi Studio have been feeling anxious. Since the collapse of the studio's flagship star Li Shiqin's character, they feel that they are getting closer to unemployment. Mr. Li hasn't shown up for a long time, and Mr. Liao's face is as heavy as water every day, with waves of sponsors or crew members coming to terminate their contracts. Hey buddy, where's a good job to help keep an eye on? Xiao Zhang, who has been idle for several days, secretly sent a message to his friend. What's wrong, Li Shiqin is really not doing well. What's said online is true. I didn't know, but looking at this scene, it's almost the same. This Li Shiqin is really good. It's too good to do well. Now let's make a question, right? It's not a problem for this female celebrity to want to marry into a wealthy family, but she's not lucky. She met a scumbag and ended up getting married. That's not bad luck, it's because she has a problem with her vision. Talking happily, the girl next door knocked on his table and whispered. Mr. Lee is here. The chat interface instantly switches to 3D animation production, and Xiao Zhang sits with a serious posture, quietly scrutinizing with his eyes. Oh, is that girl wearing a classical qi pao with a plain face Li Shiqin? Although she looks the same, that kind and kind smile really shouldn't have appeared on Li Shiqin's face, and she was still posting something while walking. How are you? Haven't you had breakfast yet? Come on, I've made some steamed stuffed buns and tea egg. Have a try. When the hot steamed buns and tea egg arrived, 
Li Shiqin disappeared at the end of the corridor with a kind smile like an old granny, but Zhang had not yet recovered. Equally shocked was the girl next door. Mr. Li, she. She didn't actually put on makeup. Xiao Zhang. Girl, is the point wrong? Xiao Zhang looked at the breakfast in his hand and then opened the chat interface. Where are the people? I just heard that our neighboring company is recruiting. Would you like to recommend them to you? Forget it. Xiao Zhang took a bite of Baozi, I think I can still persist. Liao Kai was also shocked. He also held a tea egg and steamed stuffed bun in his hand and looked at the people across the street. I don't know whether to roast about the other party's clothes or roast about the other party's actions. However, the other party still kept a pair of innocent big eyes open, looking at him with a loving expression on their face. Eat, eat while it's hot. Ran Ran said that you often skip breakfast, which is not good for your stomach. If you endure it for a long time, you will develop stomach problems. Don't think you're young and you'll regret it later. Liao Kai forget it, it smells quite fragrant. He's really a bit hungry. Although he doesn't think she did it herself. Didn't you say you didn't need to come? Why did you still come? Liao Kai frowned. Today, he invited Mrs. Zhang to sign the agreement. Considering Li Shiqin's situation, he had originally planned for him to sign on his behalf. Why bother you every time? Li Shiqin smiled, it's all my own fault, so naturally I have to solve it myself. The key is, how can one fake someone else for such an important matter? Of course, it's only by doing it oneself that one can rest assured. But that Mrs. Zhang. Liao Kai hesitated. Mrs. Zhang was cold and ruthless, and her attitude towards Li Shiqin was also bad. Several times, Li Shiqin was made to break down and cry by her, and he felt that her depression was also related to Mrs. Zhang. Don't worry, I can handle it. Just kidding, Mrs. Zhang, I heard she's only in her fifties, and being her daughter is too young. It's strange that her old lady is afraid of her. My daughter has finally grown up. At this moment, Liao Kai was so moved that he almost burst into tears. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Peaceful Breakup You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Peaceful Breakup Li Shiqin finally saw the legendary Mrs. Zhang. Wearing a black suit and black sunglasses, with a cold and solemn face and a proud chin. Mrs. Zhang is here. Please sit down and have a cup of tea to moisten your throat. It's a bit hot outside today. Li Shiqin greeted with a smile. Ruan Sushin was taken aback. Is this Li Shiqin? To be honest, this girl used to be trembling and timid when she saw her before. Why is she so calm and magnanimous today? She thought, but her face showed no signs and let out a cold snort. Li Shiqin, don't try to play tricks anymore. Give up. People like you will never be accepted by our Zhang family, and my son will never marry you. Mrs. Zhang. Liao Kai frowned. That's it. Previously, Li Shiqin was so shocked by this lady that she couldn't lift her head. Li Shiqin gestured for him to be calm and not impatient. I understand, Mrs. Zhang. Don't worry, I came here to clarify with you that I have no further relationship with your young master in the future. Please take a seat first. Ruan Sushin said, Humph, it's good if you know. TSK TSK, like a mischievous child. Li Shiqin smiled and placed the teacup in front of Mrs. Zhang. Mrs. Zhang, I know that being a parent is not for the sake of your son. I think you reject me not because of my own problems, but because you feel that I am not worthy of your son. As the saying goes, what kind of pot goes with what kind of lid, love cannot be eaten as bread. Since your son and I are not in the same world, forcibly being together is not really beneficial to each other, is it? Li Shiqin's gentle words immediately melted Ruan Sushin's cold heart. She was not someone with a heart of stone. Miss Li, as long as you can understand, 
some of what I said before was a bit heavy, so don't take it to heart. That's all from the past, there's no need to mention it anymore. Put yourself in the same shoes, I'm also a mother now, so naturally I can understand you. Speaking of that child, Wan Su felt as if she had been shot in her heart. Are you really willing to sign this agreement? Have you really figured it out? Once this agreement is signed, your son has nothing to do with the Zhang family anymore. I've figured it out. Don't worry. Wan Sushin remained silent. Both lawyers presented the prepared agreement. The content of the agreement was already communicated between both parties before, and today is only the signing stage. Mrs. Zhang, Li Shiqin picked up a pen but paused for a moment. Can I ask a question? You said, Wan Sushin's attitude had already softened unconsciously. Your attitude can fully represent Mr. Zhang Junhan, right? Mr. Zhang will not renege on this agreement, will he? Wan Sushin. The lawyer beside her answered, of course, Ms. Wan Sushin has full authorization from Mr. Zhang Junhan to make this decision on his behalf. Then I can rest assured. Li Shiqin smiled and brushed his name without hesitation. Returning home, Mrs. Zhang sat on the sofa, unable to regain her senses. This is her little grandson, really giving up like this. She had never even met before, and when she hugged her, she felt uneasy and flustered. Why, still reluctant to part? The dignified old woman walked slowly, with a mocking expression on her lips. Mom, Li Shiqin has really made up her mind this time. Wan Sushin felt like she couldn't lift her spirits anymore. It was natural for Li Shiqin to give up, but why was she not happy at all? She can understand better at best, so I don't have to find a way to deal with her, the old woman said with a cold and indifferent expression. But Jun Han doesn't know yet, if he does. So what if he finds out? A vain woman with a humble background, shallow knowledge, and only wanting to climb a high branch is not worthy of Jun Han. Do you think your son's life will be ruined by her? The old woman glanced at her with a solemn expression that read, I don't understand any of this, useless. Mrs. Zhang's nails were deeply ingrained in her palms and she dared not speak again. Her mother Dotin Dot Law was a famous socialite from H City back then, and her dignity seemed to be ingrained in every glance, making her not accustomed to it even after more than thirty years in the Zhang family. You're just too kind and soft-hearted, the old woman said in a soft tone. Su Xian, as women, we need to maintain the dignity of our family. Men do big things outside, so we need to take care of the peace of our family, right? The old woman's soft voice carried a chilling chill. Wan Sushin has been listening to this rhetoric for thirty years, but still doesn't know whether it's right or wrong. Yes, mom. She could only answer that way. The recent controversy surrounding the Li Shiqin incident on the internet has finally revealed the truth. Yes, I have a son and I'm sorry to have kept it from you all. His father is an outsider and we have peacefully broken up, so I hope everyone doesn't delve deeper. I will take a break for a while and hope to meet again soon. This small video was posted on Li Shiqin's Weibo and the official website of Yunxi Studio, causing quite a stir online. Some people sneer. A peaceful breakup, to put it nicely, has already been hammered out. It's just a failure to join a wealthy family. It's also quite ridiculous. Even though the children were born, they didn't recognize them. Curious about which wealthy family it is, has an insider revealed it. Isn't it being lurked? I still don't believe that Li Shiqin is that kind of person. Li Shiqin may also have been deceived, it's all a scumbag's fault, so don't fall into the trap. Don't even laugh, the fruit you planted should be swallowed with tears in your eyes. Do you really think Li Shiqin is a pure and innocent lady? After so many years of lacking acting skills, she has been so active in the entertainment industry. Why do you think so? In my opinion, this is the tip of the iceberg that has exploded. Lying in the trough, thinking carefully is extremely frightening. Li Shiqin is not clear about these online things. 
Shi and Zhao Ranran are on their way back to Li Shiqin's hometown. Firstly, it was to meet her eldest son whom she had obtained out of thin air, secondly, it was also arranged by Liao Kai to keep her away from the entertainment industry for a period of time and let the past pass. It can only be said that this move was deeply in line with the old lady's intentions, so there was even more appreciation for Liao Kai. Liao Kai, this young man is really good. He is steady and capable, with a delicate mind and thoughtful ideas. Young man. Brother Liao is already 35 years old. No. Grandma, you won't be interested in Brother Liao, will you? Li Shiqin. The old lady was angry and laughed. Yeah, I think Liao Kai is pretty good. If it weren't for you being a poor girl, I would have wanted him to be my grandson's son. In. Law. Don't, don't, that's not the one I like. So you have someone you like? No, there's no such thing. I remember when you always said, what's the name of a celebrity? Jiang. No, grandma, that's called an idol. Do idols understand? Yo yo yo, grandma's little flower is shy. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 5, Daughter She Changed You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 5, Daughter She Changed Li Shiqin's family is located in a relatively remote small town. Instead, she bought a house in the city and county, hoping to take the two elderly people over for retirement, but they were unwilling to do so. At this moment, after passing the eighteen turns of the winding mountain road and the small town in front of her, Li Shiqin felt happy, as if she had returned to Yunhu town, where she had lived for most of her life. The car stopped in front of a small detached house with blue bricks and tiles, and a middle-aged woman was sitting in front of the door holding a child to bask in the sun. She was stunned at the sight of Li Shiqin getting off the car. Chiner. It's me. I'm back. Li Shiqin guessed that this was the original mother of Li Shiqin, but she couldn't be sure if she didn't call anyone. The woman shouted excitedly into the room, his father, Chiner is back. Come in quickly. Li Shiqin followed inside, and the little boy leaned against the woman's shoulder, blinking his big eyes as he looked at her. He was a chubby boy with a tiger's head and a tiger's brain, indicating that Li's father and mother were taking care of her quite well. Still thinking of coming back. Father Li remained stern and saw that his daughter was not feeling well. After several years of not returning home, I left my full moon child behind and ran away without explaining anything. This is awkward, Li Shiqin said helplessly, she doesn't want to carry this pot either. Li Mu complained, as soon as I come back, you should say a few words less. Chiner, are you hungry? Mom will make some food for you. After speaking, hand the child to Father Li. Let me do it. Li Shiqin wanted to take it over, but Xiaowa didn't do it and went straight to Li's father's hand. Li's mother had no choice but to make a comeback and say, the child is afraid of strangers, and they will get used to it in a little while. Li's father sat down in silence, and Li Shiqin knew it was still a dissatisfaction with his daughter. He couldn't help but smile and turn to introduce Xiao Ran Ran. Uh, Dad. This is my assistant Zhao Ran Ran. Thanks to her taking care of me, she's just like my own sister. The sound of Dad is really awkward and can only be vaguely conveyed. Zhao Ran Ran obediently greeted, Hello Uncle Li. Ah, uh, okay, okay, sit down quickly, eat some melon seeds, drink some water. Li's father can still keep a straight face towards Li Shiqin, but he can't be more gentle towards Xiao Ran Ran. Okay, thank you Uncle Li. This child is so cute. What's his name? Xiao Ran Ran caught his grandmother's gaze and began to liven up the atmosphere. Sitting next to Li's father, constantly teasing the little doll. His name is Bauer. Where's your name? Have you registered your household? Father Li, no. Li Shiqin smiled. I plan to stay at home for a few months this time. Firstly, I will accompany your two elders, and secondly, I will register my baby's household. 
Li nodded and said, I'm already over half a year old. It's time to register for household registration. Then he looked at Li Shiqin, who knew his meaning and spoke confidently. I broke up with my child's father, and my son will be my own from now on. Li's father frowned. Li Shiqin thought he would just blame, but he remained silent for a while. Just know what you're doing. Anyway, don't forget that this is your home. If there's anything, you and your parents. Li Shiqin's nose was sore, and she inexplicably remembered countless years ago when she left her home, when her parents had said similar things to her, but unfortunately she never went back. Poor parents in the world. Well, I got it, thank you dad. The next day, Li Shiqin woke up early and refreshed. Sure enough, she still prefers the rural living atmosphere, even the air feels much cleaner, and there is too much dust in the city. Chiner, why do you wake up so early? Li's father and mother were stunned. Their daughter used to occasionally come back and sleep until dawn. Getting up so early is simply a miracle. Get up and take a walk if you have nothing to do. Little Bauer, with big black grape-like eyes, had already finished her milk and was looking at Li Shiqin with her fingers tilted to her head. Li Shiqin smiled and said, let me take Bauer out to play. I couldn't react either, so I picked up Bauer and walked outside. Fly, baby, fly up, fly so high. Bauer, who was about to cry with her mouth wide open, her eyes widened and she stopped crying. Hey, but. Li's mother couldn't catch up and stood still, struggling. Let her go, she and Bauer can go everywhere. Li's father still sees it through, mother and son are connected, and Bauer must still be kissing Li Shiqin. But can Chiner take care of children? Always learn to take care of it. I think Chiner has become much more sensible since she came back this time. Since she has decided to get close to Bauer, we can't interfere. Thinking of her daughter's experience makes Li's mother worried. But this child's father. Don't mention it if your daughter doesn't want to. Don't mention it either. I know, Li nodded. There is no impermeable wall in the world, let alone Li Shiqin, who is a public figure. In fact, they have also heard some rumors and rumors from various aspects these days, and they probably know some truth. But since Li Shiqin has decided not to mention it, they as parents do not want to expose their daughter's scars. Oh no. Father Li suddenly patted his thigh. What's wrong? Is Chena leaving like this? Li's mother was stunned. Before, Li Shiqin used to come back in a state of concealment and basically didn't go out. This time, she just went out so casually. Still holding Bauer. Hurry up, go and chase her back. Father Li stomped his foot. Not far from Li's house is a small park. In the early morning, only some elderly people who wake up are exercising, doing Tai Chi, jumping exercises, and so on. Li Shiqin watched with envy as the old ladies waved their fans and danced wildly. During the years when square dancing was popular throughout the country, Mrs. Li Shiqin developed an inability to exercise, and from then on, this sport was considered isolated from her. Now, looking at his body, which has been young for decades, and looking at the old sisters across the street, Li Shiqin seriously ponders the picture of himself joining in Forget It. Ah ah. Bao was unhappy and pointed to the rocking chair next to her, shouting loudly. All right, baby, let's go play. Well, it's still fun to pick up the eldest son for nothing. Shi Qin. Hmm. The old man pushing the cart for a walk became excited when he saw Li Shi Qin. Is that really you? Yesterday, my son said he seemed to have seen you come back, and I still can't believe it. Are you coming back to see your parents? Oh, I'm Grandma Wang, who lives diagonally across from you. I saw you when I was a child, I forgot. Mmm, -hmm. hello Grandma Wang. Yes, I'm back to see my parents. Is this your little granddaughter? She's a few months old. She's so cute, she's about the same age as our family heirloom, isn't she? 
Yeah. My little Ching Ching and Bauer are just over half a month apart. Say hello to Bauer's brother. Grandma Wang clearly knew Bauer and greeted her with a smile as she shook her granddaughter's small hand. Bao had to communicate with Xia Qingqing, and saliva dripped down the corner of his mouth. Li Xiqin smiled and helped him wipe it off. Xiqin, is this your son? Grandma Wang couldn't help but ask cautiously. Yeah. So who is his father? Grandma Wang's daughter Dot in Dot Law is a fan of celebrities and often teaches her about people and things in the entertainment industry. Recently, we talked about Li Xiqin. Poor Grandma Wang always says that Li Xiqin lives next door to her, but her daughter Dot in Dot Law doesn't believe it at all. Hee hee, we broke up, and now Bao is following me alone. Li Xiqin had no intention of hiding it. Grandma Wang said, Oh, this kind of thing is also very normal now. Let me tell you, my niece and daughter met a bad person before. They were supposed to get married, but suddenly they had an affair with another woman. My niece and daughter were both pregnant at the time, but she said that such a man cannot marry. Getting married not only makes her suffer, but also has a bad life for her child. Her family supports her. Grandma Wang's words were too much to Li Xiqin's taste. Indeed, the old ladies of this generation are all kind and sincere people. Thank you, Grandma Wang. How is your niece doing now? She's doing well. Now that her son is in elementary school and she's married, her husband doesn't mind at all. He treats her son just like his own. And she used to be married to that man, but he's not good to his wife at all. I heard his wife is divorcing him. Well. The time spent chatting among the old ladies is always fulfilling and enjoyable. Soon, a group of old men and women gathered around Li Xiqin. When Li's mother arrived, she was stunned as she watched Li Xiqin chatting and laughing inside the old lady's circle. What? Is this her low dot key celebrity daughter? End of this chapter. Chapter 6 6. Celebrity Farming You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 66, Celebrity Farming A big star has arrived in Lishan Town, and this news soon spread in this small town, especially among the neighbors, relatives, and friends of the Lee family who know some truth. Once upon a time, it was Lee's father and mother who asked them not to speak out. However, this time when Li Xiqin went out in a grand manner, he probably didn't hide it. It was just a matter of passing it on for ten or a hundred times. Li's parents were originally quite anxious. Since becoming a celebrity, Li Xiqin has not returned a few times and even asked her parents to conceal the fact that she was a celebrity. I don't know what happened this time, but suddenly I let go. So those who come knocking at the Li family's doorstep, frequent visits, and sending children to gather information are everywhere, all from the neighbors. Li's parents also cannot drive people out, so they are worried that the behavior of their neighbors and fellow villagers will disturb their daughter. Unexpectedly, her daughter seems to have changed her personality. Li Xiqin asked Zhao Ranran to buy a bunch of candies, dim sum, melon seeds, and tea at home. Anyone can come in and sit down. If he wants to take a group photo, Li Xiqin will not refuse. If he has questions, she will answer them conscientiously. If he can't answer them, she will avoid talking about them. If he wants to tell her about filming, she will tell the old story, Mom and Dad, I'm going to stay at home for a few months. Of course, I need to get along well with my neighbors. Don't worry. The elderly like to be lively and lively, and Li Xiqin is not unhappy at all. Every day is full of joy and happiness. Li's parents felt relieved when they saw her like this. In fact, in their hearts, Li Xiqin was just an ordinary person, no different from before. After a series of ups and downs, everyone finally realized that celebrities are just like them, just like ordinary people. Besides, Li Xiqin is usually plain-faced at home and looks like an ordinary beauty. Some girls even secretly poke and think that they can become celebrities like this, and it's not impossible for them. Li Xiqin's life gradually returned to normal, 
but the internet was secretly flooded by Li Shiqin. A bunch of group photos and Weibo posts are flying around, with Li Shiqin in plain clothes and holding a beautiful baby. Online uproar. What's wrong with Li Shiqin? What's the name of what she's wearing? She's planning to break down and say goodbye to the entertainment industry. Don't say it, this is just trying to ride the last wave of heat, right? No, I think she looks pretty without makeup, at least she's not an artificial beauty. So what, people are getting old and their pearls are turning yellow. Let's take a break. Her son is quite beautiful. Who do you think he looks like? I can't tell, these big kids all look similar. What can you tell? To be honest, this child's surname is Zhao. Look, is it a bit similar to someone in the latest version of What Young Master Dot? Sleeping trough, you can eat randomly, but you can't talk nonsense. So it really sounds a bit like that, and someone is a playboy in the entertainment industry, um, 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 um. It's over, my mind is wide open. Who said his surname is Zhao? Do you have a solid hammer? Yes, but I can't send. Cut. You know how to talk nonsense. Don't mention it, haven't there been quite a few people breaking off contracts with Li Shiqin recently? But Mingxing Entertainment hasn't solved any of them. You taste it, you savor it carefully. I seem to have tasted it again. I ate a shocking melon. What's all the nonsense upstairs? Don't be fooled by why why, Mr. Zhao is watching you. Dot. Of course, these are all niche comments, and at this moment, there hasn't been much controversy. But soon, these comments will be dug up, repeatedly studied, traced back to their roots, and then taken in a strange direction. Here, Li Shiqin and Zhao Ran Ran, who have just received freshly baked household registration books, are on their way home. Rui Bao, your name will be Rui Bao in the future. Li Shiqin teased Rui Bao as she walked, and the seven-month-old baby babbled and spoke. The two of them have become very familiar these days. Ah, do you like this name, right? Do you like it? Rui Bao is so cute. Zhao Ran Ran, who was driving, felt like going crazy. My grandmother, the staff member just now definitely recognized you. Didn't you see that her little eyes were twitching? Li Shiqin said nonchalantly, just recognize me, aren't there enough people who recognize me these days? But you are a public figure. Zhao Ran Ran was frustrated. In fact, she had been frustrated with Li Shiqin's behavior for several days. Unfortunately, her grandmother was not aware of it. She patiently explained her reasoning, but she remained unmoved and went her own way. Actually, I can see that they are just curious about celebrities. The more you hide something, the more people want to see it, so it's better to show it openly. When everyone's curiosity is satisfied, it's okay. Zhao Ran Ran was speechless and understood the reason, but how should she explain to her grandmother about this kind of creature called illegitimate rice? A few days ago, Liao Gu even called her and cursed her in a bloody manner. Forget it. Thinking of the loneliness that my grandmother used to enjoy the most lively life, but later fell ill and could only lie in bed, Zhao Ran Ran decided to follow her wishes. Starting a new life, perhaps it's a little bit of happiness that heaven has made up for for the loneliness, torment, and pain of her grandmother. How could she bear to deprive her of it? This type of small green vegetable can be planted all year round, and the harvest period is very short, about ten days can be eaten. When planting, everyone should dig up the soil a bit loose, sprinkle a few seeds in each pit, not too much, and then cover it with a thin layer of soil, not too much, otherwise the seeds are not easy to break through. Don't water it too much, just water it once a day, and then we can quietly wait for the little green vegetables to sprout. In the vegetable garden, Li Shiqin was wearing a straw hat, loose casual clothes, and an old dot-fashioned apron, introducing her vegetable planting experience seriously. Wow, she really knows how to grow vegetables. Did you put it on camera? No, I've been watching for 30 minutes. 
She really flipped through this small piece of land and planted some cabbage just now. A big celebrity came to farm and have fun. Intentionally putting on a serene appearance of time for someone to see. Using this as a way to turn the page and rebuild one's character. TSK TSK, I see that Li Shichin is really risking everything for the sake of popularity now. When he goes back to his hometown, he doesn't want to think about it in isolation and has caused such a big stir. Even his son has been used for consumption, which is really shameless. Indeed, it's a bit too much. The image of that pure and innocent jade girl before was indeed fabricated. I'm disillusioned. Anyway, my house has collapsed. Don't ask me why I'm still here, this is the last persistence of celery. My chin, why ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, if you are short of money, we can share a piece of celery with you and eat it for a lifetime ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. No, why did I shift my focus? I feel like Li Shichin is quite charming like this. Watching the barrage on the live broadcast, Zhao Ranran's mouth twitched and he wanted to fight back, feeling that his two fists were difficult to match his four hands. This live broadcast was instructed by Brother Liao to keep it popular for a period of time every day. Tell Grandma, Li Shichin not only doesn't matter, but is also very happy. Is it okay for me to watch TV like this? Do you want to change clothes and comb my hair? Zhao Ranran said. Anyway, I can't explain it clearly to my grandmother, so let her like it. But what about live streaming? Grandma thought for a while, so why not plant some dishes? Actually, when Li Shichin saw that piece of land in the backyard, she felt itchy. As the saying goes, every rural old lady has the impulse to grow vegetables. When they heard that they were going to farm, Li's parents were startled and initially stopped them. Later, Zhao Ranran said he wanted to shoot a live broadcast, so Li's parents thought it was work and didn't dare to stop him. So Li Shichin happily imparted his vegetable growing experience. The old lady is not familiar with live streaming platforms and only thinks that what she broadcasts can be seen by others. As for how many people see it, Ran Ran also said that this is not certain. The old lady doesn't think anyone is watching, it's like taking a photo, just show it to herself. So these malicious comments, Zhao Ran Ran didn't tell her grandmother either. Anyway, her grandmother doesn't use her smartphone, and she also takes care of Weibo, making her happy and happy in the new era. Although her breasts may not even care. It's also strange that she can adapt so quickly to the thinking of an 80-year-old person with a different shell. Although my grandmother's thinking is not rigid and conservative, she may find it difficult to accept the idea of rebirth and travel. Although she has read a lot of books, if she experiences it firsthand, it may be difficult for her to accept it. Later, Li Shichin learned about these ideas and gave her granddaughter a cold eye. Have you ever heard two common sayings, Ran Ran? One sentence is do as the Romans do when in Rome. Dot. One sentence is take it as it comes. End of this chapter. Chapter 7, Brother Liao is crazy. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 7, Brother Liao is crazy, alright. That's all for today's live broadcast. See you tomorrow. Qin Jie, let me say hello to everyone. Li Shichin washed her hands in the nearby stream, wiped her face dry, and waved at the camera. Goodbye everyone. Turning off the camera, Zhao Ran Ran felt disgusted and resentful. My grandmother, the image of the jade maiden that Qin Jie has worked hard for ten years has been ruined by you to the point where nothing remains. This statement is not false. Li Shichin has been severely losing her powder recently, but most of it is due to unmarried childbirth and falling in love with wealthy individuals, incidents. Speaking of which, the recent live streaming has attracted some passers-by fans. Li Shichin pointed to the sky. Why? The Jade Maiden lives in the sky, but I am just an ordinary person. Zhao Ran Ran. Qin Yi. E, Tang Tang. A group of little brats aged from three to four to five or six were eagerly waiting on the side. 
They knew that Li Shiqin was the one who would give them candy when there were no celebrities in their eyes, sigh, come on, 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 Li Shiqin smiled and cheered, leading a group of children home. Today is a work day, and the older children have all gone to school, leaving only these little puddings. Ah, ah, ah. Walking to the door, I saw Li Mu holding Rui Bauer and waiting at the door. The little one looked at Li Shiqin and reached out to hold her. I was about to find you. When Bauer wakes up, she wants you and doesn't even drink milk. Li Shiqin quickly took it, probably because the mother and son were connected, and the little one couldn't leave his mother for a moment now. Zhao Ran Ran had to take those diced beans to the house to share the sugar, but they were also very obedient, taking their own portion one by one and scattering. Li Shiqin fed Rui Bauer to his heart's content, teasing him while asking his father and mother. Dad, Mom, do you think the mountain not far from our village, along with the farmland below, has been abandoned? Yeah, now that children in rural areas are working outside to earn money, who would still farm at home? Only the older generation can still plant some, but as they get older, they can't plant much, so they become abandoned. Why don't I take over the contract and plant some fruit trees and vegetables to sell? Li's parents were stunned, and Zhao Ran Ran was also stunned. I think so, Li Shiqin said seriously. Although our lives are getting better now, we can't just sit idly by. We should also think of ways to make money. Li Shiqin has been considering this matter for several days. She has two cubs to raise now. Rui Bauer needs money to study, and Ran Ran will need a dowry when she gets married. As a grandmother, she needs to be prepared while she can still work. Chiner, are you? Not planning to leave. Li's parents couldn't help but ask. Let's go, where are we going? Li Shiqin was lost in thought. Zhao Ran Ran helped her forehead. Her grandmother has been living in the countryside for a while and has clearly forgotten her celebrity setting. Uncle Li and Aunt Li, I'll talk to Sister Qin for a while first. Li Shiqin didn't know what was wrong yet, and when he was pulled into the room, he still looked confused. My grandmother, have you forgotten that you are still a celebrity? Li Shiqin hesitated for a moment and said, I really forgot if you didn't say it. How could you forget? Brother Liao is still waiting for you. Li Shiqin nodded and said, then quickly contact Liao Kai and tell him about this matter. What? Ran Ran, you also know that Grandma doesn't know how to act. How could she be a celebrity? Tell him we won't be celebrities in the future. Zhao Ran Ran. Headache. Grandma, things are not as simple as you think. Why? The old lady is really confused. Is it not enough to be a celebrity? Zhao Ran Ran said, I. I can't explain it clearly. Let brother Liao tell you. What? Liao Kai's first reaction was that he had misunderstood. Are you joking? The second reaction was that it was a prank. Liao Kai, I figured it out very clearly. I don't think being a celebrity is suitable for me. Li Shiqin's sorry voice sounded very unreal from the mobile phone. Say it again. I said, I don't want to be a celebrity anymore. Li Shiqin. With a bang from the opposite side, Liao Kai erupted without warning. What did you treat me as? Li Shiqin was stunned. Liao Kai roared. What do you consider our ten years of struggle? Li Shiqin fell silent. Although she didn't quite understand, she could still hear the deep pain and despair in Liao Kai's tone, like the mournful cries of a wild beast when it was injured. Since we met, Liao Kai has given her a feeling of stability, competence, and reliability, but this time she feels that he is out of control. The other party hung up the phone, and Li Shiqin looked at the phone in her hand in confusion. Ran Ran, what's wrong with him? Zhao Ran Ran couldn't help but shrink her neck when she heard Liao Ji's two words. 
Brother Liao, I'm probably going crazy. Liao Kai was indeed going crazy. Ten years of calmness were shattered and he drove all night to Lishan town in anger. He knocked on the Li family door at 4 a.m. Watching Liao Kai with bloodshot eyes and a face full of sadness and anger, Li Shiqin's motherly kindness suddenly erupted, and her heart was filled with excruciating pain. What's wrong with you? What can't we talk about tomorrow? It's so dangerous to stay up late, are you hungry? I'll go get you a bowl of noodles. Liao Kai. Full of anger, I couldn't burst out at once. Zhao Ran Ran dismissed Li's father and mother who had been awakened and faced the boss with fear. Liao. Brother Liao. What's going on? Not doing well recently. Why did you suddenly quit the entertainment industry? Liao Kai gritted his teeth. I, I don't know either. I guess Qinjia has been under a lot of stimulation lately, which has led her to develop feelings of withdrawal. Brother Liao, you know her personality. Tell her well and she will understand. Liao Kai pondered deeply. Zhao Ran Ran sneaked away secretly, so she shouldn't meddle in adult affairs. Li Shiqin placed a large bowl of noodles in front of Liao Kai. Hurry up and eat, haven't you been eating well lately? You've lost a lot of weight. Liao Kai looked at the bowl bigger than his own face and said here we go again, that strange feeling. There is always a feeling of Li Shiqin looking at her own offspring. After tidying up the dishes, Li Shiqin sat upright in a respectful posture. Liao Kai. Shi Qin, I know you've been under a lot of stimulation lately, but now you've been through it all. How could you give up easily? No, I really made the decision after careful consideration. Li Shiqin organized the language, knowing she should find a way to make things reasonable. I have been very happy at home during this time, and my parents are already old. I want to take care of them here. Rui Bauer is also young and needs the company of her mother. Liao Kai surprisingly has nothing to say. My daughter has really grown up, become sensible, and knows how to consider her family. It seems that this is not a decision made on impulse or after being stimulated, and the reason is also reasonable. But I overlooked your feelings, Li Shiqin said with some guilt. She had never considered Liao Kai, and he had done so much for her these days without any complaints. Their emotions were not as simple as an employment relationship or partnership. I'm sorry. Liao Kai smiled bitterly and said, It's okay if you're sorry to me. Do you deserve Yinshi Studio? Do you deserve our efforts over the past decade? Do you know how difficult it has been for us to come this far? Shi Qin, I didn't want to talk to you about this before because you didn't understand. You just wanted to be a simple celebrity, so I had to take care of some things for you. But now, you should also understand some of the current situation. When you had an accident before, many sponsors and crew terminated their contracts with you. Due to the damage to your image, we had to pay a huge penalty for breach of contract. For the sake of this company, most of the money we earned before was used to make up for this hole. And Li Shiqin was overwhelmed by the news one by one and couldn't come to her senses. She still carries exorbitant debts on her body. The company's cash flow is about to cut off, and employee salaries cannot be paid anymore. The old lady really wants to faint, but she is now very clear-headed. No wonder Liao Kai would go crazy. Even if it were her, an 80-year-old lady would collapse upon hearing this, let alone a 35-year-old young man. Liao Kai, you have suffered a lot. Liao Kai. Although he deliberately spoke a little harshly, your reaction as his hands warmed up, Li Shiqin grabbed his finger, as if his gaze was so loving that it seemed like it was about to drip water. I really shouldn't have let you bear so much alone. Don't worry. I will make a comeback as soon as possible and make money to pay off the debt as soon as possible. Isn't it just acting? Li Shiqin gritted her teeth and said that acting now requires money, but acting back then was very dangerous. The old lady eats much more salt than those actors, so she doesn't believe she can't play them. My daughter is really sensible now. 
Old Father Liao Kai immediately burst into tears, and those unreasonable things also made him set aside. If you can figure it out, then you can join the group tomorrow. Liao Kai quickly threw her a script. This is the script by the Furong Bridge. Take a good look and I will send you to the group tomorrow. Tomorrow. End of this chapter. Chapter 8, Furong Bridge Side 1. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8, Furong Bridge Side 1 When Li Shiqin and Zhao Ranran were packed and sent to the filming site, the old lady still couldn't come to her senses. She is going to act now. Grandma, what are you afraid of? Zhao Ranran whispered to him, just treat yourself as this character. Li Shiqin nodded and played a role, she understood. Grandma, do you really understand? Zhao Ranran was stunned. I don't understand. Did you teach me? Zhao Ranran. Li Shiqin is going to join the team. This news has generally spread to the production team by the Furong Bridge. What, is she still here? She hasn't terminated the contract yet. Everyone looked at the director in confusion. Director Hee Hee. You give me money, I'll go find another one. Everyone. That's okay. Actually, Li Shiqin's topic is quite high now. Yeah, yes, I was watching her grow vegetables yesterday, and she also worked hard to attract traffic. Aha, uh -huh, her son is also quite cute. Director. You guys who are at the mercy of the times. It's not that he doesn't want to change, it's just that their crew is poor. Nowadays, capital has shifted to idle drama groups with high traffic. Traditional literary and artistic film investors like them disdain it. If they want a plot without a plot, they want to watch something without a focus. Is that kind of peaceful time intended to be filmed for the elderly? Sorry, he doesn't go to the cinema for the elderly. So this script has been delayed for several years, and this year we finally found a scapegoat willing to invest. He hasn't seized the opportunity to shoot it yet, is he waiting for it to end in vain? Of course, the key is whether he has asked the unjust leader to replace Li Shiqin. Forget it, it's too much trouble, let's just do it, said the unjust leader after thinking for a while the gold lord has said so, and Li Shiqin's appearance quite meets his requirements for the character, so that's it. Anyway, he has no intention of making money from box office. Hello teachers and director. Li Shiqin joined the crew and, under the guidance of Zhao Ranran, greeted everyone. Director Wu looked at Li Shiqin's attire, which was quite plain and her face was clean. He couldn't see too much makeup, so his impression of her improved. He nodded inexplicably. You're here. Have you read the script? I have seen it. In the next two days, you should first experience the surrounding environment, watch others' plays, and try to integrate into this atmosphere as soon as possible. You need to memorize your lines a bit. Okay, Director Wu. I heard your voice was a bit hoarse. Did it get too hot? This is mint candy I made myself, which is a bit better than the ones on the market. Can you try it? If you can't stand it, you can soak it in water and drink it. You're quite good at being a person. Director Wu is very satisfied. Director Wu, I won't disturb you anymore. Take good care of your health and drink plenty of water when you have nothing to do. Come to my house for dinner when you have time. What? Wu Dao, who had read countless people, was stunned by the kindness in Li Shiqin's smile. And the crew members also received Li Mingxing's warm and kind condolences. Hello, hello, have you eaten yet? Young man, you're too thin. Eat more food. The girl is so beautiful. I have mint candy here, would you like some? Crew members. This person is dressed very plainly, has a friendly smile, and cares about their physical condition when they meet. Is it really Li Shiqin they knew before? Is that strong sense of kindness the same thing? Everyone has a lot of problems. Considering that it's not easy to ask questions when we first meet, only the female lead, Chui Lanin, 
who is in her sixties, doesn't pay attention to these things at all. She tasted the mint candy and her eyes lit up. This mint candy tastes very good. Really. As expected, only people of the same age can recognize goods. Li Shiqin looked at the big girl, who was more than ten years younger than herself and felt like she had found a kindred spirit. I made this mint candy with ice mint and added a flavor of vanilla to neutralize the pungent taste of mint. It's really different, Chui Lanin nodded with a smile. Can you give me a little more? My old man also has a bad voice at home. Of course. But I didn't bring much this time. All right, give me your address and I'll send it to you another day. I'm not polite, Miss Lee. If there's anything I can help with, just let me know. Just call me Shi Qin. Teacher Chui, can you give me your address? Let's add a WeChat account and I'll send it to you. WeChat. Li Shiqin was stunned. She knew WeChat, and Zhao Ran Ran had also told her how to use it, but these days she hasn't used it at all. Zhao Ran Ran quickly walked up and said, Teacher Chui, Qin Jie's phone happened to run out of battery while on the way. Either I'll add you first, and I'll add you when Qin Jie charges up later. No need, then I'll write you the address. Chui Lanin didn't look too happy on her face, but she still wrote the address for Li Shiqin with grandeur. Grandma, I already told you to learn how to use WeChat, but you just don't learn. Now let's see if there's a misunderstanding, right? Li Shiqin was scolded by her granddaughter and left speechless. She really didn't think it was important before. Didn't the days without this WeChat come all these years ago? Now. It seems like the idea is really outdated. Do I still have time to learn now? The old lady hesitated. Ran Ran had also taught herself these things back then, but at that time, Li Shiqin was already sick, her fingers were not very flexible, and her memory had deteriorated. Learning was very difficult, so she gave up. Now, Li Shiqin doesn't know what will happen. Of course. As long as you're willing to learn. Zhao Ran Ran was unaware of her grandmother's concerns and happily began teaching Li Shiqin how to play with smartphones. Quickly, Li Shiqin felt like she had opened the door to a new world. Have you eaten yet? Liao Kaixian suddenly noticed a WeChat message, the type that was placed on the top. At first glance, a mint candy. Liao Kai Liao Kai has eaten it. I'm on the set, do you feel okay? Li Shiqin is quite good, the director and crew are very friendly, and Teacher Chui really likes the mint candy I made. Teacher Chui, Liao Kai. Teacher Chui Lanin. Li Shiqin. Yes. Great, Shiqin. That's right. Build good relationships with the directors, actors, and staff of the production team, and learn from the senior colleagues. It's very beneficial for you. Liao Kai was very excited. His previous daughter was just too reserved and didn't know how to interact with others. She always entrusted him with any questions, so even after all these years in the entertainment industry, she didn't have many friends to talk to. Liao Kai once again lamented that his daughter had grown up. Li Shiqin okay smiley face, this WeChat is really practical. The old lady stared at the phone in her hand and couldn't put it down. Is that right? In addition to seeing the messages of the people you follow, WeChat can also make phone calls, send pictures, and even videos. And Weibo, it's also very fun. I'll teach you more slowly. MMM hmm. Li Shiqin perfunctorily flipped through her social media, watching with relish. Zhao Ran Ran. Indeed, the internet is the greatest invention in human history. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. 9, Furong Bridge Side 2. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 9 9, Furong Bridge Side 2 The next morning, Li Shiqin, who was getting up early for a walk, met Chui Lanin, who was doing morning exercises. Teacher Chui. Li Shiqin's eyes lit up and she took out her phone. Come on, let's add a WeChat account. Chui Lanin. 
No, don't look uncomfortable yesterday. What is this today? Scan, add, and complete successfully. Teacher Chui, do you like growing flowers? Chui Lanin's social circle consists of 8 out of 10 different flowers. Well, I quite like flowers. I usually plant flowers at home when I have free time. Does Shi Qin also like flowers? I quite like it, but the flowers I like are different from yours. Oh. I like flowers that can be used as food. When I have free time, I use flowers to make things that can be eaten and earn money. Yes, the old lady's thinking is very simple. After going through an era where she couldn't even eat enough, she naturally couldn't become artistic. Chui Lanin was surprised. She had originally thought that Li Shiqin would also be vulgar, but she didn't expect the other party to be so honest. So that's how you got your mint candy. Hmm. Li Shiqin smiled, I can also make osmanthus cake, rose cake, cherry blossom jelly, and many flowers can also be stir-fried. If you have time, I can make them for you to eat. Okay. Chui Lanin smiled. I'm a bit tempted by what you said. Shi Qin, your cooking skills must be very good. Me, I can only cook home cooked side dishes. Nowadays, children like those steaks and French dishes, which my elderly family doesn't know. Chui Lanin thought she was joking on purpose and couldn't help but laugh. You're so humorous. But to be honest, my granddaughter always comes back to eat hamburgers and Korean fried chicken, which makes me very worried. Ran Ran is also like this. If she doesn't eat the dishes cooked at home, what kind of McDonald's should she go to? Is Ran Ran. It's me. Assistant, she's just like my sister. Young people nowadays eat unhealthy food and have irregular lifestyles. Yesterday, it was almost 12 o'clock and they were still scrolling through their phones. Chui Lanin. You don't sound like a sister, you feel like a grandmother. By the way, how old is your granddaughter? Where does she go to school? Li Shiqin's smile is particularly kind and friendly. Chui Lanin. Why do you feel like chatting with an old sister you haven't seen for years? When Zhao Ran Ran found her, Chui Lanin felt that her feelings were right. This doting gaze, this loving gaze. The legendary jade maiden Li Shiqin is actually a matrilineal celebrity in private. Chui Lanin is the oldest and highest ranking member in the Furong crew. Although the elderly person is kind, she is still very respected by everyone in her old age, but she dare not disturb too much. Unexpectedly, upon Li Shiqin's arrival, he quickly became close friends with Chui Lanin. When both of them appeared on the set, everyone was shocked. Good morning everyone. Li Shiqin still wore a smile like a spring breeze on her face. Thank you for your hard work. Teacher Chui and I just walked back from outside and brought us the local specialty of water milled cake. Come and taste it together. Li Shiqin took out a box of pastries from the plastic bag he was holding in his hand. The pastries are packaged in transparent boxes, with three layers of red, green, and white inside. They are cut into small triangles, crystal clear, and look delicious. Chui Lanin helped to distribute it to everyone. This is from Shiqin. I have tried it and it tastes good. Everyone, give it a try. Everyone. Did you make a mistake? Why do you have the same kind smile on your faces? Thank you, Teacher Chui, thank you, Sister Shichin. Thank you. Thank you. Eating people with soft tongues, since others are generous and generous, everyone cannot help but appreciate it. But there are people who don't appreciate it. Sister Shichin, do you really have a son? For a moment, the surroundings fell silent, and everyone held their breath, wanting to see who this fearless warrior was. Oh, it's her. Suddenly enlightened. The speaker was a young actress and a supporting role of the cast. After Li Shiqin's accident, there were rumors that she would take over the role of Li Shiqin's second daughter, but Li Shiqin returned. 
The actress felt uncomfortable in her heart and couldn't help but see Li Shiqin pretending to be a good seller and buying people's hearts everywhere. Everyone secretly looked at Li Shiqin. Will it change color tragically? Or angrily leave the seat? Or deny and rebuke? The answer is. None of the above. Li Shiqin happily took out her phone. Look, this is my son, Roy Bauer. He's been over seven months now, isn't he cute? That proud appearance is the same as those grandiose grandmothers in the park. Crew members. A few little girls couldn't help but come over to take a look. Wow, it's really cute. My eyes are so big, chubby and cute. The little claws of this meat are whimpering. Seeing Li Shiqin so generous, more and more crew members gathered around. Li Shiqin laughed so hard that she couldn't see her eyes or teeth. Well, when she goes back, she will definitely take photos of Roy Bauer every day and show her on social media. What's the use of being cute? They don't even recognize it. The mocking voice poured over like a bucket of cold water, and everyone was stirred up. This is a bit unfamiliar. The young girls who first gathered around were a bit angry. Zhou Ziki, don't go too far. He he, am I right? Some people can do it, so don't be afraid of others saying it. Zhou Ziki sneered, I don't know how to have the face to come back. You. The little girl wanted to retort. Li Shiqin quickly stopped her, but she didn't get angry, just looked at her calmly. Miss, I don't know if you've heard a common saying, a good word brings warmth in three winters, and a bad word hurts the cold in six months. I've met you for the first time, and I don't know where I offended you and made you look down on me so much. Why don't you speak up? If it's my fault, I'll definitely apologize. I, I just can't stand your actions. Zhou Ziki blushed, knowing in her heart why she couldn't stand her, it was just a loss of her own interests. She thought that exposing herself in public would make Li Shiqin feel embarrassed and embarrassed, so she couldn't stay on the set anymore. Unexpectedly, Li Shiqin remained calm and composed, which highlighted her petty behavior. The little girl before sneered. Zhou Ziki, who wouldn't know about your careful thinking? You just thought you could replace the role of Qin Jie. Now that they have returned, your plan has failed before targeting them. Now she punctured the window paper and saw everyone's eyes gathering on her. Zhou Ziki suddenly collapsed and turned around to leave. Li Shiqin. She hasn't left yet, did the cursor run away first? What are you all doing? Get ready for work. Pretending to appear at the right time, Director Wu, who had been secretly watching the play for a while, let out a roar and everyone immediately dispersed. Director Wu shook his head awkwardly. Don't take it to heart. Actually, this little girl doesn't have any bad intentions, she's just a bit straightforward. It wasn't like you at that time. Cough, there were rumors from somewhere that she could take over your position, so she couldn't take it off for a while. Don't be angry. Li Shiqin suddenly realized. So that's what's going on. It's not her fault. If I had a hard time, I wouldn't have thought about it. This girl seems quite sad, wouldn't she? No, I have to go see her. Li Shiqin stormed away, leaving Wu Dao and Chui Lanin looking at each other. Chui Lanin suddenly smiled and said, I think Li Shiqin is quite good. Director Wu End of this chapter Chapter 10 10, Furong Bridge Side 3 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1010, Furong Bridge Side 3 When Li Shiqin found Zhou Ziki, the little girl was wiping tears while collecting things. Seeing her coming, her tearful little face still stiffened and she said fiercely, What are you doing here? Li Shiqin felt heartbroken. I'm here to apologize to you. Li Shiqin's soft voice made Zhou Ziki collapse and she burst into tears. You. It's all your fault. 555, Li Shiqin couldn't help but cry and laugh. She was still a child, so she went up and gently patted the baby in her arms. 
Okay, okay, it's my fault. It's okay, be good, stop crying. Zhou Ziki was placed in her arms and initially wanted to struggle, but with such a slap, she suddenly fell silent. She lay in Li Shiqin's arms and cried faintly. Li Shiqin coaxed Zhou Ziki for a while before she gradually stopped crying. Li Shiqin wiped Zhou Ziki's face clean with a handkerchief. All right, are you okay? Zhou Ziki lowered her head and didn't speak. She felt embarrassed, but Li Shiqin's embrace was too warm, just like her mother holding her. Zhou Ziki was too nostalgic. Do you want to leave? Zhou Ziki wanted to cry again. I'm so embarrassed, how can I still stay? Where did you lose face? Li Shiqin said gently. If you're losing face, you're right. I'm losing face a hundred times more than you, but didn't I still come? Daughter, there are many things in life that cannot be taken so seriously. Some things may have been forgotten by others long ago, but one cannot overcome their own obstacles. If one lets go of oneself, nothing will happen. Zhou Ziki looked at her dumbfounded and said, Are you like this? Well, I am like this. Li Shiqin said firmly. For many years, for many things, she has done it this way. Zhou Ziki pondered for a moment and nodded. Well, I understand. I'm sorry, I just said that out of jealousy. It's okay, Li Shiqin looked at her affectionately. Director Wu has also explained to me. He said you're a good girl, but you just got stuck in a corner for a while. Zhou Ziki's nose soured and she said, I'm sorry. It's normal for young people to occasionally get into the corners of an ox. When I was young, my temper was even hotter than yours, and I often fought with people until my face turned red and my neck was thick. Zhou Ziki couldn't help but laugh. Qin Jie, you're not a few years older than me, why do you feel like my mom? Zhou Ziki wanted to cry again, unfortunately, my mom has already left, 5555. I miss my mom so much. Originally a motherless child, Li Shiqin felt heartbroken and said, Be good, it's okay. She went to another world to enjoy herself. One day, we will also go to that place to reunite with her. Zhou Ziki. What you said is exactly the same as what my father said. Then listen to your father well, Li Shiqin rubbed the little girl's head. If you don't listen to the old man, you'll suffer a loss right in front of you. Zhou Ziki burst into tears and smiled. You're really different from what you said online. I won't believe that anymore. Foolish child, whether online or in reality, there is truth and falsehood. You need to learn to distinguish it yourself, understand. Understood. Zhou Ziki nodded vigorously. Zhao Ranran, who stood at the door and watched the entire journey, said. Grandma, your persona has already forget it, we can't save it. When Zhou Ziki and Li Shiqin returned, everyone was taken aback. Just now, Zhou Ziki appeared as if she was ready to fight at any moment, with a sword drawn and crossbow drawn. In just a moment, she followed Li Shiqin obediently, as if she had been a different person. I have already apologized to Sister Qin. I'm sorry for disturbing everyone's work just now. Everyone's gaze towards Li Shiqin changed. Amazing. Cough, are you okay? Wu Dao coughed twice and began to straighten the building. If you're okay, hurry up and go back to everyone and start working. The movie by Furong Bridge is an artistic film with a very simple plot, telling the stories of several families by Furong Bridge. Over a hundred years, like a white horse passing through a gap, the people on the bridge came and went, gradually returning to tranquility. The silent stone bridge witnesses the passage of time and the changes in personnel. The hustle and bustle in people's hearts contrast strongly with the leisurely environment. This is the theme that the work aims to express. And the movie was also shot in a quaint small town, where there is an ancient stone bridge called the Furong Bridge in the movie. The director even retained a large number of shots from the original residents to ensure the authenticity of the work. 
Li Shiqin is completely familiar with this place, feeling as relaxed and comfortable as returning to Yunhu town. What makes her curious is the camera and filming techniques. Li Shiqin has been standing on the scene watching director Wu shoot, using the camera, watching the actors perform, and observing director Wu's admonitions the knowledge of the new field of acting flooded into Li Shiqin's mind like a tide, and she constantly understood, memorized, and absorbed it. Li Shiqin studied like this for three days. In her spare time, she also helped lift things, distribute boxed meals, pour water, and wherever there was something wrong, her figure would be there. Even the staff are used to it. Li Shiqin, who is unassuming and hardworking, has won unanimous praise from the entire crew. Everyone affectionately calls her Qinmo. Yes, this title was invented by Zhou Ziki. Because she said, Qin Jie, why do you keep me eating every day like my mother? I'll call you Qin Mom from now on. Li Shiqin doesn't mind at all, that's how this title spread. Even director Wu has nothing to say because he has been cared for countless times about various life issues such as eating, dressing, and drinking water. That's how Li Shiqin's first scene arrived. When the camera hit her face, Li Shiqin felt nervous, but she told herself. You can do it, Li Shiqin. Back then, you could act in front of enemies, but now you're just facing a few iron bumps. Just treat them as non-existent. The girl looked up at her aunt with a look of grievance and unhappiness on her face. Auntie, why can't I go? Ah Xiu has already gone. She's even younger than me. Auntie's back was straight and her shadow was buried in the light. Don't you like this place? Isn't it good to stay here? It's also great here, but mom, the outside world is also great. You can take the train, and Ah Chun has already taken the train. The girl's gaze was sparkling, and a longing and envy emanated from the corners of her eyes and eyebrows just like the eager heart that can't be held back. Exploring a broader world is a permanent desire of humanity. End of this chapter